Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari and today I will discuss about the variable number of arguments. In the previous tutorial, we have seen that there are four types of the argument that we can pass as a formal argument. Uh, we can define as a formal argument in a function. So um, in the previous tutorial, we have uh, talked about uh, the three of them, uh, required argument, keyword argument, and default arguments. So the last one that is called the variable number of arguments, we'll see in this tutorial. So uh, just look at here uh, that what is the requirement of variable number of arguments. So used to execute a function uh, with more arguments than specified during the function definition. So if you want that, uh, you want uh, to pass the number of argument uh, the more than uh, as you have defined at the function definition time, then you can use the variable number of arguments. To add an arbitrary argument in a function definition is start with the variable name with the asterisk or double asterisk so when you define any function for example if i write def my fun then you will write asterisk args so this, this is called variable number of arguments where args and args is a short form of arguments so that's why i have mentioned args you can write anything a b c x y z anything you can write Another way is by using uh, KW ARGS. KW means key uh, keyword arguments. So uh, you can pass uh, the values to the function by using the keyword arguments also. So how to use uh, these uh, uh, type of variable number arguments in uh, application? Let's see with the example. So it will make more clear to you. So for that, we'll go for uh, the PyCharm. So let's come here. Uh, if you define any function, for example, uh, def and uh, my fun here, and if you write, let me magnify. And here you write if uh, asterisk args, then it is called the variable number of arguments. Okay. So here you can pass any number of arguments when you call it. So let me uh, leave it as pass. Now, if I want to call this function, then I can pass from my uh, fun and here I can pass any number of arguments. That is one, two, three, four. So as you can see, I have uh, mentioned only the ARGS with the asterisk. So here I can pass any number of arguments, one, two, three, and zero. So if you do not pass anything, so it will take the zero. First of all, uh, before calling this, uh, the ARGS, let's see that what is the type of ARGS in this function. So uh, if I want to see that what is the type of this ARGS, then I can use a function that is called type. So let's see what is the type of this ARGS. And here I pass one argument only, that is one. So as you can see that uh, the ARGS type will be triple. Okay, so it means uh, when you write the ARGS and you pass any number of the arguments, so it makes the tuple of those uh, passing values and it pass to this ARGS. Okay, and we have already learned that uh, which type of operation we can perform on the tuple. So ARGS is actually your tuple. So if I pass one, two, three, four, and if you print this ARGS here, then you will see that it will print one two three four now uh, let's see with the example that the benefit of using this uh, args for uh, suppose you are writing a function in which you want to perform addition so here you can pass the number of arguments for example a comma b so it means it will perform the addition of two numbers okay so here i can write a plus b okay so this will perform the addition of two number and at the time of calling, I need to pass two variable, sorry, two numbers here. So we'll get the answer as one plus two, that is three. Suppose uh, there is a situation where you want to add three numbers. So what will you do? You will uh, write another function in which you will define a three variable, for example, this one. And you will define another function, for example, add one and here you will write A, B, C. And at the time of calling, then you will pass here one, two, three, four. For example, this one. So uh, as you want, then uh, you define the function as per your requirement. Okay, let me change this. That is add one. 
okay as you can see the output is three and seven fine so uh we can uh, suppose another requirement is to add four numbers then you will define another function so this problem can be solved by using where args how just look at here if i write here that is asterisk and a so here i can pass any number of the argument so i can write scm sum uh, some function we have already learned so i can pass the sum and here if i call this for two numbers so it will perform the addition of two if i call for three numbers then it will perform the addition of three okay so it means that you can pass any number of arguments in um, in this type of argument so this is called variable number of arguments or uh, and uh, you can also do one thing that is iteration so we already know that how to iterate the values so for i in a and you can pass every value of this a let me print it as you can see for the first function calling one two for the second function calling that is one two four okay uh, with the variable number of arguments you can define uh, default arguments as well as uh, the uh, non-default arguments also so suppose if i uh, want that uh, it should contain another variable for example uh, x here then i can write this one so in this case what will happen uh, the first value will be for x and rest of the value will be for this args this arguments okay this variable number of arguments so if you want to see then uh, let me show you x is equal x and print the value of a also so let me print the value of a so here you can see that x value is one in this case and value of a is rest of the value uh, for second function calling just look at here that x is equal one and rest of the value for this is args okay so i hope uh, this uh, variable number of arguments uh, is now clear uh, another thing that you can uh, define is uh, as you can see here when uh, i was calling this function i was passing only the values okay so if you want that uh, the value should be passed in the form of keyword argument so you can define double asterisk and then here you will write args so you can write kw args args so uh, most of the time uh, if you are following some book and if you are uh, reading somewhere any blog or something then you will find that it will be kw args that is called key keyword arguments so at the time of function calling you will call it as add okay let me change the function name as my fun then and here i will call my function so how to pass the keyword argument here you will first define uh, the keyword okay so this is my keyword that is first and corresponding value so here i am uh, writing that is one okay and second that is uh, second value is my 25 okay so first of all let's see that what is the type of this keyword argument so for that i'll use uh, type function and here i'll print kwargs so let's see that what is the type of this so internally it makes dictionary okay and uh, we already know that how to use the dictionary okay so here i will use for and one is key and then value in kwargs dot items we know a method that is items we have already used in dictionary and we can print the value of e comma value so let's see that what is the value of e value into this case so here you can see that the first is your key and the value is one second is the key and the value is 25. so if you want that uh, the keyword argument you want to pass then you can use the keyword arguments 
you can combine the variable number of arguments ergs with the kw ergs but make sure that it will be your last argument if i write this uh, like uh, asterisk and ergs so it will uh, show me error that you can see parameter asterisk is after double parameter so it is not allowed just make sure that it uh, you will remember this point okay so this is the way that you can use uh, the keyword arguments uh, keyword argument can also be used with uh, the non uh, uh, keyword argument and other things so if i write args here and if i pass 20 so this 20 will be for args and rest of the value will be for kw args so let me show you that is print and args so here i will write args is equal this so here you can see that args is 20 and keyword or rest of the values are for keyword arguments uh, next one is uh, you can use this ARGS any KW uh, ARGS to call a function also. So you can uh, you can say that it uh, can be in a reverse order also. For example, if uh, you have defined uh, some uh, variable A, B, and C here, and uh, let me print this A, B, C, A, B, and C, A, B, and C, this one, and uh, you have a tuple here that is already having three values so if you want that uh, the tuples all three values should be copied into a b c respectively then you will write like this asterisk and t why because internally this uh, where asks is um, act as the tuple so let me show you that is one two three we can see here okay so uh, here i can write uh, the more clear argument here a is equal comma a then i can write uh, b is equal comma b and here i can write c is equal comma c so as you can see the value of a is one value of b is two the value of c is equal to three but make sure that the number of argument that you have defined, the number of argument you are passing through the tuple must be same. For example, if I write uh, four, so as you can see that where asks uh, is now four, and in my function, I have only three arguments. So here you will see that my function takes three pos positional arguments, but we are given four, so we are getting error. Similarly, uh, if you have a dictionary, so we can make a dictionary. Uh, here and a is equal uh, let me a colon this one a1 comma b colon 30 and c colon 95 so if you want to pass this dictionary to this uh, uh, function then you can write double asterisk and after that you will write d so it will accept your dictionary as well but make sure that you have three arguments in your dictionary three elements in your dictionary and the keyword the keys are the same as your function arguments name so as you can see a is equal 1 b is equal 30 and c is equal 95 if you make changes into it for example if i make a dictionary's key as d and here you can see that uh, the d is not a part of argument so i'll get error my function got an unexpected keyword argument that is d so make sure whenever you are calling keyword argument then uh, this these are must same as your functions argument name okay so i hope the where arcs and uh, the keywords arguments are clear yes, still if you have doubt then you can put your queries so thank you for watching this video uh, please like comment and share your views and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you bye bye